This one is true. The mode can be used to describe any type of data, numerical or categorical. You saw in the last quiz that male versus female was categorical and the mode was male. However, all scores in the data set don't affect the mode necessarily. Take this data set. The mode is 22 because it occurs three times and the rest of them occur once. However, if we take away the value 14, the mode will still be 22. Now, let's say we add an extreme value, like 1 million. The mode will still be 22. So we cannot say that all scores in the data set will impact the mode. This one is also false. If we take a bunch of samples from a population, the mode is likely to change from sample to sample. Let's illustrate this idea with this applet. It's really cool. This is a histogram distribution. This is called a bell-shaped curve. And let's pick a random five samples that this software will generate for us. So just look at these top two. You see that the mode is here, which is kind of at the left of this distribution. Let's do it again. Now the mode's here at the right of the distribution. If we do it again, the mode's again at the kind of far left of the distribution. Now here, there's not even a mode. So you can see that if we take samples, the mode is somewhat arbitrary and it won't necessarily be similar to other modes and it also won't necessarily represent the population. Another thing about the mode is that it changes as you change the bin size. So if we make the bin size smaller, looks like the mode is going to the left. Here it's at about 470. Here it looks like it starts at about 450. And the mode changes as we change the bin size. If we make the bin size really big, then the mode occurs in this interval between 346 and 514.74. So the mode really depends on how you present the data. Because this third point is false, we can't really use the mode to learn about our population. And this is our goal in this course, inferential statistics. But still, the mode is important to take into account when describing a data set. And finally, this last one is false. While there's a procedure to find the mode, where you look at all the data values, you see which one occurs the most, or you look at the histogram and you see which bin has the highest frequency, we can't describe the mode with an equation. And this is why we often use the mean or the average.